So it's your boy GMT. We're back with another video. We're supposed to be doing the Corvette run, but none of the Corvettes show up. It's just me and my guy Peter behind me right here. He has the beautiful C8. He's got good taste. He has a white Corvette. Y'all know I love white Corvettes. We're supposed to be taking these cars on Highway 160, but you know me. I came a long way because the Corvette needs to pass smog and I got to drive it 100 miles and I'm maybe about, mm, I drove about 90 miles or so, so I'm about 10 miles short. So I'm hopefully this drive will reset the computer and give me what I need to pass smog. But I'm going to get some beauty shots of these two Corvettes. I'm going to talk to my man Peter. We're going to hit the road. We're going to wait a little bit because we're looking for some corvettes that come from over the freeway but they're not showing up yet so if it's just us two it'll be just us me and peter and i'm definitely gonna get some rollers of peter c8 beautiful corvette let's go in fact let's go over here and take a look at peter's corvette right here he's got the white with the red interior Ooh, he got the race he got the mini wing on it too he told me he got the performance exhaust he put the front splitter on that is a nice corvette he got the red calipers tell me peter what made you get this car what is it about the c8 corvette in particular i was a mustang guy for 20 years this is my first corvette and I think it's going to be my last car. I'm kind of retired now. Uh, it's a, I wouldn't want anything else. It's a convertible, it's for my me and my wife. It's our retirement. Yeah, well, I will say, Peter, that that's a nice Corvette. Have you took it to the track or you just take it no, on back roads? The long, farthest I've been to is uh, Yosemite. Oh, and uh, it catches all the eyes. Okay, okay. Yep. I heard there's some nice roads in Yosemite. Oh, yes. I've been there a couple of times. Oh, yes. So what you, what, what you got planned today? What you going to do with the Corvette today? Well, I hope you can keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can, though. Okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not a fast driver. I'm not a fast driver. So it's going to be hard for me to keep up with my man, Peter right here especially you got the brand new c8 corvette how many horsepower are we talking 485 485 0 to 60 and what 3.2 3.9 i've been to 3.0 3.0 okay yeah. i i couldn't get it under three points so so i'm definitely gonna have my hands full but we're gonna start the drive stay tuned all right so we got i got all the cameras set up we got the 360 cam we got the dji osmo pocket gopro on the dash and of course i'm on the insta 360 go 3 right now so we're gonna have four one two three four then the over the shoulder camera we're gonna have five cameras so i'm hoping to get some dope footage so we're about to hit the road we're gonna see what happens today should be a good day peter is impressed with the cameras he's impressed with the cameras i'm gonna to try to make him look good driving this corvette on the road and then when we get to our destination i may even bring out the drone and chase him as he drives his corvette so today should be a fun and interesting day with that said let's get it Seatbelt safety first, folks. Let me make sure my POV cam is pointed at the right angle at least. Then we can begin this fun drive. Let's see where are we at? Lower, higher. Let's see, we've been higher. Ooh, that's two clicks.
Corvette right there. I might have to get me one of them. Maybe if I get lucky with crypto, who knows? Hit the lotto, catch a break. is a 
nice view right there. So this is what it looks like when I'm getting rollers of folks operating this camera right here. Abel took me to Abel Chevrolet dealership and they got some Corvettes as you can see they got some Corvettes as you can see Ooh, somebody put a Voltron sticker on his Corvette we got Camaros Ooh, look what they did to this one right oh, here very tasteful okay, somebody got a Z06 with a 69 on it Whoa, purple rims. Boy, oh, plums to somebody. Carbon fiber. Did somebody got a race car Camaro up here? Oh, there's another Z06 here. Yep. Yeah. What do they do with this one right here? That one looks nice. This is a Z06 too. Okay, then we got a white Z06. If, if I had the money, I think this one would be it right here. The white Z06. But I, I, I ain't got that kind of bread. I ain't got that kind of bread. Oh, man. Nice. But that would be the one to get right there. Hey, what is this one? Stingray right here? I'm telling you, the C7. I'm, I'm, I, I think, I think I could finance a C7. I could definitely finance a C7, but I, I don't want to. I think a C6 is more in my price range. I've been looking at it. We got he put Vet 49. That's a 49er fan car. We can't get that one. It's a 49er fans car. <laughs> So we can't we can't get that one. We probably got Niner logos on the inside. But yeah, this is definitely a good look to walk around here and see what kind of stuff they got. This Camaro, the carbon fiber body, fender, hood. You got, got a nice hood. Oh, ZL1. Oh. Corvette motor inside. Okay. ZL1 ZL1 Corvette. No, it says say SS. That could be a super sport. Tow hook. You got Camaro Mike 15. And we gotta check out Camaro Mike's 15 Instagram page to see what kind of stuff he's putting up there. But they got the red one, black. This is a Z06. My last Mustang was a black one and never buy a black one again. <laughs> Couldn't keep it clean? I wash it every week. I finally end up going to uh, that washing place. Mm -hmm. You pay monthly fee. Mm -hmm. I just got sick of washing it at home every week.
got something to eat and it's that time to go our separate ways but you guys know what i always do when these meets are over i like to chase cars with the drone so as peter leaves we're going to chase the c8 corvette with the drone so we're going to set that up and we're going to see if i could hopefully not crash the drone Yes, we're back at the small station. Long drive. It, it, it should pass. I, I got a real good feeling. A real good feeling that it should pass. It looks like we got a line though. It looks like we got a line. So we got to go ahead and park. Get in line and check in. As you can see, we're back running the pre-check. Fingers are crossed. Hoping something good will happen for us. Let's see what happens. So I got home from the vlog and unfortunately, unfortunately, we did not pass smog. I got the paperwork right here. It says, well, when I got to the engine shop, the check engine light came on. So of course, when you put it on the smog machine, it was gonna fail because we got check engine lights and in California, if you want to pass smog, you can't have a check engine light. So I have a check engine light for code P0446, which is, which is an evaporative emission systems vent control circuit. So we couldn't pass smog. So I came home on Google to see what it was. And it basically says it should cost anywhere from $100 to $500 for it to get fixed. So that will be the next step. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I got some good news. I bought another car. It's at the shop. It's supposed to be getting fixed. So once that car is ready to pick up, I'm going to bring in the Corvette and have them look at the Corvette and fix whatever problems they need in so order to pass smog. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share these vlogs if you like them. Leave some in the comment section. It's your boy, the Grandmaster Troll.